a virgin she wasn't even she was just still planning her wedding she had not even gotten married not to talk of giving birth to a child but god had a new plan a new agenda a new testimony a new song praise the name of the lord
Solid rock on which I stand. Solid rock on which I stand. God bless the risen land. God bless the risen land. And we sit upon the throne. And we sit upon the throne. And the mass is for his own. Then the mass is for his own. After day, I will praise your name. Woo! In everything, I will be glad. For by your grace, you set me. Upon every word, I will depend. But the sun and rock on which I stand. Sun and rock on which I stand. You're the best to raise in land. You're the best to raise in land. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. I welcome us once again to another time and the present in the presence of God. I welcome us once again to another wonderful digging deep service. And I pray that as you come, as you listen, as you join, as you pray, you will experience God mightily in every area of our lives in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. God, we bless your name. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. There's none like you. Hallowed be thy name. Father, we thank you. Because today, in the name of Jesus, Son of God, you will honor the word of your servants. And you confirm the counsel of your messenger in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart, let them be accepted before you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Once again, I welcome us once again to another wonderful dignity service. And today, the title of our message is Experiencing Fresh Air. Experiencing Fresh Air. Experiencing Fresh Air. Beloved, Personally to me, the fresh air is bad air. When one is not experiencing fresh air, then that person in question is experiencing bad air. May we not experience bad air in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Experiencing fresh air, looking into some encounters of people that were formerly, that once experienced bad air. And at the end of the day, God turned it to fresh air. And so shall it be for you and I in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. The first one we have here is fresh air. Fresh air from mockery. Fresh air from intimidation. Fresh air from abuse. Fresh air from resentment. Praise the name of the Lord. First Samuel chapter 1 and verse 6. First Samuel chapter 1 and verse 6. This is just an encounter that we all know is a story that has to do with Penina and Anna. In first Samuel chapter 1 and verse 6, it says, and our adversary also provoked our soul. And our adversary also provoked our soul. 
For to make afraid. Fret means to be afraid. To be scared. To be intimidated. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the Lord had shot a womb. We all know the story. This was Anna. Constantly living in mockery. Constantly living in intimidation. Constantly experiencing resentment. Constantly experiencing causes and shame. Praise the name of the Lord. All because the Lord shot a womb. Are you here? Experiencing the same thing like Anna? Are you here? Going through resentment? Going through constant. Are you here? Are you under the sound of my voice? In this great. <laughs> because you lack one thing or the other. Praise the name of the Lord. But it bears recall in the Bible. Suddenly one day, God remembered Anna. Because the Bible makes us understand that on a particular day, she went to She met a man. And she cried up unto God. And suddenly, God opened concerning her the book of remembrance. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of God, God will change your bad air to fresh air. In the mighty name of Jesus. From today, like Anna, you will begin to experience fresh air. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember, once upon a time, she was experiencing, she was through bad air because she was constantly abused. She was constantly being intimidated. <laughs> she was constantly being reproached. She was constantly But God remembered her. I pray for you once again. In the name of Jesus, the Son of God, in whichever area you have been experiencing bad air, from now on, you will experience fresh air. You will feel fresh air. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will bring fresh air into that experience. In the name of Jesus, the Son of God, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Like this, say, Oh God, our Father, Oh God, our Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We pray for every member of Glory Watch Center that is in bad air to experience fresh air in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone reproach, anyone going through resentment, being intimidated, being mocked, every in any area of their life, we command them to stop in the mighty name of Jesus. We prophesy. We declare fresh air into their matter, into their homes, into their situation, into their name of Jesus. Anna, the way you turn their bad air to fresh air, Father, in the name of Jesus, visit this one side in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are so shall it be. So shall it be. Once again, I pray for everyone like Anna. For everyone going through this, the, the, the same thing that Anna went through. For anyone experiencing the case of Anna in Glory of His Center. From now on, God, in the name of Jesus, the Son of God, we give that experience of fresh air. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Another experience that we have here that I want us to share. Another experience that I want us to share here. Praise the name of Jesus, the Son of God. Is fresh air from captivity. Fresh air from bondage. Praise the name of the Lord. Exodus chapter 8. And verse 20 to 21. Exodus chapter 8 and verse 20 to 21. This was that the children of Israel were experiencing bad air. They were under bondage. <laughs> they were under captivity. They were hell bound. Praise the name of the Lord. They didn't have freedom of worship. They didn't have freedom of speech. 
They were held under the captivity of the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. But I'm going to read out the experience of the children of Israel. Exodus chapter 8, verse 20 to 21. The Bible said, Then the Lord said to Moses, Get up early in the morning and confront Pharaoh. As he goes to the water and say to him, This is what the Lord says, Let my people go so that they may worship him. They may worship me. That's what the Lord instructed Moses to tell Pharaoh. But we all know the story that Moses went to Pharaoh and he said to Pharaoh exactly what the Lord said unto him. That Pharaoh, the Lord told me to tell you, let my people go. But interestingly and funny enough, praise the name of the Lord, Pharaoh refused to allow the children of Israel go. Beloved, this is the situation. This is a case of going through bad air. This is a situation or a case of experience bad air. Praise the name of the Lord. Why? Because they didn't have a freedom of worship. They of movement. They were in that captivity. They were in bondage. Praise the name of the Lord. What moves me more? What shocked me more in this story? God to visit Pharaoh 10 times with plague. This one represents stop who has stopped one enemy in their life. It's God to visit Pharaoh 10 times, plague of time of might of on the last one that they took the first sons of everyone in Egypt. Praise the name of the Lord. I declare to you. I prophesy into the life of anyone under the sound of my voice that every stubborn pursuer, every stubborn enemy that is refusing you to that is refusing to let you go, I come on God Almighty will shatter them in the mighty name of Jesus. It took ten visits. It took to visit very ten times before he could allow them go. But beloved, we know the end of the story. That even when Pharaoh promised to allow them go, he still ran after them until he went into the Red Sea. Praise the name of the Lord. I tell you, any man, any woman that is making you go through, that is making you experience that bad air, from now on, you will look at them, you look at them and you find them on, in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. We know the end of the story. That at the end of it all, at the end of this all, God Almighty delivered the children of Israel from their stubborn pursuer. Lord Almighty put an end to their experiencing bad air. And he made them to experience fresh air. He made them to experience freedom. He made them to experience joy, peace of mind. And so shall it be for you and I. <clears throat> In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray like this. Oh God our Father, oh God our Father, set free, deliver from captivity any member of the center being held in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father by fire, in the name of Jesus, set free, deliver any member of the Lord's center that is being found in the mighty name of Jesus. The same way you delivered the children of Israel. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, set them free. Deliver them in the name of Jesus. Deliver them from bad air. Let them begin to experience fresh air in the mighty name of Jesus. The same way you deliver the children of Israel from the earth of Pharaoh in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, deliver anyone in glory center that is experiencing, oh God, bad air, that is being held captive, that is being held bound. Father, deliver them in the name of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying, amen. Beloved, remember that today's topic is experiencing fresh air. Experiencing fresh air, it bears recall that we said we've talked about two already. First <clears throat> is experiencing fresh air from the hands of intimidation, experiencing fresh air from the hand of. Constant embarrassment. We give an example of, of Anna. The second one we talk about 
is experiencing fresh air against captivity, against tyranny, against oppression. The third one we are talking about right now is experiencing fresh air from hardship or disasters. Number three, experiencing fresh air against disasters or hardship. Praise the name of the Lord. This is concerning Nigeria. Number three is concerning Nigeria. If you agree with me, there's a lot of bad air that we're experiencing. Praise the name of the Lord. Bad ship of hardship. Bad, bad air of hardship. Bad air of disasters. Bad air of long suffering. Bad air of kidnappings here and there. Bad air <coughs> of economic dis of economic ups and down. But God is set up now. God is set today to deliver us and make us start experiencing fresh air. And so shall it be for us in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Like I said, number three, experiencing fresh air from hardship and disaster. Second Kings chapter and verse one. Second Kings chapter seven and verse one. The Bible said, then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Tomorrow about this time there shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel. And two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Praise the name of the Lord. This was the experience of the children, on, of, of the people under Elisha then. They were experiencing bad air. The economy was hard. <laughs> there was disaster. Praise the name of the Lord. There was economic hardship. There were ups and downs. People were suffering. There was no food. There was no job. There was hopelessness in the land. But God suddenly remembered them and gave a promise to Elisha. We all know the end of the story. That at the end of the day, they began to experience fresh air as against the bad air. I speak standing as a mandate of God. I speak to Nigeria in the name of Jesus, the Son of God. We reject air from now on in the mighty name of Jesus. We begin to express fresh air in the name of Jesus. The same way God visited them as the days of old. God, in the name of Jesus, Son of God, we give us ease. We begin to experience ease and fresh air in Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray like this. Say, Oh God, our Father, Oh God, creator of everything. We pray concerning Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. Let there be a in the name of Jesus. We pray, we prophesy into stability. Come against banditry. We come against. We come against. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against economic conditions. In the name of Jesus, the same way you visited them, everything became stable. We give them peace. Begin to experience peace in Nigeria. Begin to experience economic stability in the name of Jesus, O God. Father, in the name of Jesus, there shall be jobs. Sir. In the mighty name of Jesus, O God, employment will be easy. Freedom will be easy. Shelter in the name of Jesus, O God, will be accessible to everyone in Nigeria. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty, wonderful name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Number four. Number four. Experiencing fresh air as against torments. Experiencing fresh air against torments. Against worries. Praise the name of the Lord. That means God is able to make somebody experience fresh air when it's being tormented. Are you under the sound of my voice? Are you anyone under the sound of my, of my voice being tormented of the devil? Being oppressed by the devil. There's hope for you, sir. Because God did it in the days of old. God is still the same today. The song says, God can do anything, everything, 
Anyhow, God can do anything. Yes, I know. God will do it for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Fresh air. Number four. Fresh air against torment. Against torment. Against worries. Against constant and oppression. Praise the name of the Lord. I'll say it again. Number four. Fresh air against torment and against oppression. That is number four. We take a text from Isaiah chapter 49. Verses 24 to 26. The Bible says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus says the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend that contend with you, <clears throat> and I will save thy children. It, went on to, it continues again. Say, and I will fill that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood. As, the, as with sweet wine, and all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, I am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Praise the name of the Lord. Here, it's best recall the encounter of somebody that God set free from bad air, from somebody that God sent free from torment, from somebody that God set free from oppression. Praise the name of the Lord. It says, Shall they pray? Be taken from the mighty. Or the love of capital delivered. He said, yes, says the Lord. I pray for somebody in the name of Jesus being oppressed of the devil. It also bears recall of man that's been tormented of the devil. That has fullness of the legions of the demons. <laughs> the Bible makes us understand that suddenly when he had an encounter with God, he sees from a to experiencing fresh air. We are going to pray like this. Say, oh God, our Father, oh God of heaven and earth, we pray for every member of Royal Worship Center that's been tormented of the devil. We pray for everyone that is in form of... We pray for any member of Royal Worship Center that has been held captive, spiritual captivity, physical captivity, financial captivity, mind captivity, Deliver them today, but I set them free. And I set them free, but I set them free, but I set them free. Deliver them, God, deliver them today, deliver them today, deliver them today. In the name of Jesus, any member of Glory Worship Center be held captive. In the name of Jesus, any member of Glory Worship Center be oppressed of the devil. Any member of Glory Worship Center being tormented physically, spiritually, maritally, in any way. Any member of Blue Ocean Center being held, oh God, as a prey, we command, we command their release in the name of Jesus. We command their release right now. We be released by fire. We prophesy, be released by fire. We decree, be released by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And so we pray, in the name of Jesus, Son of God, I stand the oracle of the living God. Any member of Blue Ocean Center, of devil that is being held captive, that is in form of a prey, that is, is being held as a prey in the name of Jesus, the Son of God. I join my anointing with that of the ministers. We command them to be free in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that freedom. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Number five, last one today. <laughs> fresh air. Fresh air against threats. Fresh air against constant defeats and threats. Are you here? Are you being defeated constantly in your vision? Are you being defeated constantly in your dream? Are you being constantly defeated in your revelation? Are you being threatened in every area of your life? Today, God will make you begin to experience fresh air in the mighty name of Jesus. The bad air will cease in the mighty name of Jesus. I will say it one time. Number five, fresh air against constant defeats. Fresh air against Praise the name of the Lord. Our text is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 20 and verse 30. 
the last start the last the last verse there they says that and God gave him all round rest and God gave him all round rest and God gave him all if somebody experiences all round rest all round rest comes from fresh air <laughs> I pray for you in the name of Jesus, Son of God. And one on being constantly defeated, constantly threatened. From today, you begin to experience all round rest. You begin to experience fresh air on every side in the mighty name of Jesus. We be, it's better to recall, we all know the story that some countries will come together and begin to threaten the children of Israel begin to threaten them they begin to oppress them they begin to constantly mock them praise the name of the lord but we know this end of the story that god gave them victory over this country and so shall it be for you and i in the mighty name of jesus the threat was over constant defeat was over the to bad air, they began to air. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, you begin to experience fresh air in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray like this. So, oh God our Father, we pray for every member of Glory Oasis Center that from now on, in the name of Jesus, the Son of God, they will begin to experience fresh air in the name of Jesus, sir, in every battle. They will begin to experience fresh air. We breast because whenever they showed up. They become scared. They become. They begin to fidget. They be, be, They become afraid. But as God, as God, as He is in heaven and on earth, He brought an end to the daily, to the regular threat, and He gave them. The, he gave them victory. So shall it be for you and I in the mighty name of Jesus. You begin to experience, you begin to experience fresh air in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. God will bless your name. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. Thank you for a wonderful time in your presence. Thank you, God, because an end has come to bad air in every area of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because every member of Glory Worship Center, Father, will begin to experience fresh air. Thank you because, oh God, we begin to experience, oh God, victory on every side. Thank you because in the name of Jesus, the Son of God, for everyone that is oppressed of the devil, for everyone that is tormented, for everyone that is being mocked, for everyone, oh God, experiencing hardship or disaster, in the name of Jesus, Son of God, and end as all this in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare in the name of Jesus that we begin to experience fresh air. So shall it be. Father, we thank you. God will bless your name. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Thanks be to God for this great worship service. I want to encourage you to give an offering to God. For God loves a cheerful giver. Please visit us online at www.rccggwc.org. Alternatively, you can do a direct transfer to the church's GTB account number 0010425841. Join us on Sundays. Tuesdays, you can join us at 6.30 p.m. for our Digging Deep service. And on Thursday at 6.30 p.m., you can join us for our Faith Clinic service. We encourage you to join us every first Tuesday of the month for a special one-hour prayer service titled Divine Intervention Service. You can reach us on any of the telephone numbers scrolling on the screen for counseling, prayers, or help. I pray that the word of God you have heard today profits you continually in Jesus' name. The presence of God will abide with you always. Signs and wonders 
will always be your portion in Jesus' name. The Lord accept your offerings and reward you abundantly. And may you continue to shine brightly in Jesus' mighty name.